I got three of these freeze-proof uh, water hydrants that go in the yard. Um, th these get buried two feet down, um, and that stops the water from freezing in them. So we're gonna hook these up on our different water lines throughout the property so we can get everything continue to get buried and ready for winterization here. Uh, they're three quarter inch. There's a three quarter inch uh, female uh, pipe thread uh, on the very end right here. And anyways, we're gonna get these installed today and it's gonna be awesome to have here for the cold weather so we can still have water service available to us. I bought a new extension cord to run power to the bus because the old one that I had before I left, I noticed it was, even though I was only pulling like 10 amps through it, it just wasn't rated for it. I think it's a, I think that was a 12, 12, three extension cord. So I went with a 10, three, it's made to handle 15 amps. I'm still only gonna pull about 10 through it, but it's just, it's continuous 10 when it does it. So uh, I feel a lot more comfortable running this cause I don't need the 50 amp cord going to the bus. And I'm about a uh, hundred feet away from my, um, power box so this will work perfectly yes taking doggy for a walk okay so we got these freeze proof hydrants in here so what happens is when she opens this valve here there's a pole that goes all the way down to the bottom and the valve that opens is actually way down there like two feet under the ground and when she shuts it off it shuts off and the water that's between here and up here drains out through that little hole down there so this will all be filled with gravel and then buried um, and that water will just dissipate, but it comes out of that little hole. So when the free, you know, if, if it just shut off down there, you would still leave water in the pipe. So it has to drain the water out of the pipe. So it's a really cool invention. Um, and this buries two feet in the ground here. Okay. I got this part buried in pretty good with that chert. There's some gravel mixed with it in at the bottom. Um, and then I'm going to backfill everything with the tractor with clay and rock. But uh, I wanted these to have good drainage for that and should be real nice. But uh, these are, you know, these freeze proof hydrants are really nice to have. There's my top two leaf springs that came, the new ones. I got a new arch to them. And then there's a third replacement one that also came. So I've got all three of those to replace. If you remember when Bo was here with his MCI, we added propane injection to it for him and I got some videos back from him using it. He absolutely loves it. He's very happy with the amount of power that he has now uh, for hills and uh, just going down the highway with it. We had to re remove his muffler so he drove home straight piped and went through some tunnels. He sent me some video of that you can enjoy here. Uh, he has since put the new muffler on here uh, so he does have the new muffler but uh, these videos were before the muffler got put back on and uh, if you like the sound of an 8V71 hauling butt down the highway and going through tunnels with no with straight pipe you're going to absolutely love this Didn't have to drop but one gear, carrying 53 miles an hour up the, up the uh, pretty steep grade coming up out of the gorge uh, into Asheville. Anyway, propane's working fantastic. <laughs> 